unconventional kind of serving body practice. So I'll do a 135 degree extreme western forehand, the equivalent on the serve, except it's kind of the front side eastern 45 degree serve, it's kind of the, the opposite side of the string bed. And the, the I'm keeping the grip the same as well with the backhand. And so the backhand will be the rear side, um, rear side eastern 45 degrees. So I'm not moving my hand position at all. So um, for a, kind of an extreme western grip to shorten the point, so extreme western is usually kind of a, a long valley type type of grip, but um, that's that's not the tactics I, I want to use. I want to use kind of a shorten the point tactics. So in order to do that, I'd have to either have to kind of approach the net a small bit, or else it's kind of go for very highly angled shots. So kind of approaching the net might be be easier. So I'll just practice kind of two topspin sh serves, and then I'll go in for kind of um, two dry volleys, uh, one one forehand, one backhand. Okay. So choosing kind of a heavy racket with kind of lead tape on the top, and that might give you extra control for kind of a topspin serving volley. Forehand strike right volley. Now the rear side eastern uh, back a uh, drive volley backhand. So I'll go through e each of those shots I individually. So um, I'll do four of the extreme western tossman serves, which is the equivalent grip of the front side eastern forehand, 45 degrees. So what I meant to do is kind of to um, to walk it, it to walk in a few steps after the serve, in order to mimic the serve and volleying approach to the net. We'll do the other side of the serve this time. Try to hit it as fast as I can. Right, that wasn't too fast, but the, the sun was in my eyes a small bit. That's my excuse. Hello, two extreme restaurant drive volleys, and as I get closer to the service line and beyond it, I'll I'll do two. Um, two half volleys. There are two dry volleys, two kind of, kind of half volleys. And I'll do one extra kind of um, smash with the on the forehand side with the extreme restaurant. Uh, the rear side eastern, which corresponds to the extreme restaurant forehand. So I'll do the same again. The um, two dry volleys followed by two half volleys. And kind of a uh, over.
overhead backhand smash. Try that one again, the dry volley. A half volley. One toss spin overhead. So the flat eastern grips are usually kind of superior to toss spin, to kind of the extreme western toss spins in terms of short shortening the fine tactics, like the, the, the baseline rallies or the kind of the flat half volleys and just the, the plain kind of block volleys at the net but for extreme restaurant would have an advantage would be the dry volleys so kind of a flat grip might be slightly slightly more difficult to hit kind of a very fast dry volley on, on a flat eastern grip you might have to hit it maybe 80% of your maximum speed in order to increase your accuracy and to control the rebound um, so I might use extreme restroom as kind of a fallback plan, have a plan B. So if my flat grips aren't working out too well in the match, I might change my tactics, I might change my grip to extreme restroom and I'll try to go to the net on extreme restroom. So I might be able to reach all the way to the net, so if I'm going kind of a walking speed, so uh, I'll try to improve my dry volleys as much as possible and kind of my, if they're very low shots, I might have to do kind of a half volley. But um, anyway, the dry volleys are kind of very easy on kind of the, the extreme restroom grips. The backhand side, I could use a front side extreme restroom grip, but um, you can see it might be slightly slower for a dry volley. I'd be quite good for kind of a volley at the net though. So instead, kind of, um, I'll use a rear side equivalent, the rear side eastern. Kind of just use my elbow to rotate, and that's kind of a perfect, um, that would be perfect for dry volleys. So I'll, I'll just go and choose again. I'll do two, two serves, and then I'll go on to the ground strokes. bend my knees a small bit to increase the body rotation and just the stability. Um, I'll just stand between the, the baseline and service line and I'll do uh, forehand dry volleys. Miss. And I'll just do kind of a half volley that's kind of very low. So I'll just bounce the ball off the ground. That went out, so I'll try it again. My running speed is kind of a bit irregular, so I'm just going to do kind of a walking pace when I go to the net. And so I'll just walk continuously to the net and hit, 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 hit a few uh, dry volleys, half volleys on, on both backhand and forehand. The smash went way out, but um, I'm kind of using the eastern 45 degree front size uh, smash. 
and that's not what I'm kind of used to. I'm more used to kind of the front side Aussie grip. Um, but that might be too extreme if I were to continue it down to the forehand. So I might just f f f finish off with a few other type of uh, topspin shots on different grips. So one variant would be a semi-restrain topspin approach to the net. So I'll do kind of topspin forehand. Um, I have a topspin forehand uh, serve. So um, it rotates kind of um, counterclockwise on the serve, the, the topspin, instead of the kind of the side spin motion. And I'll use kind of a slice, kind of backhand, front side to move restroom. Um, so compared to the extreme restaurant, um, the semi restaurant might be easier for the um, for kind of the, the close the closer net shots. I'll change grip again, so I'll do kind of a front side Aussie on kind of a slice backspin. So I'll keep I'll keep my grip position the same throughout each side. So for the serve I'll do kind of a tossman serve. And the rear side Aussie on backhand and kind of a tossman. So the serves and the backhands will be quite fast and quite steady. The forehand backspin slightly more awkward. It might be ideal for a ground stroke rally, but if you're going to the net, the extra accuracy that it affords would be kind of very, very, very useful. That would be very easy for kind of a half volley. Again, th these are all uh, unorthodox ways to get to get to the net. The easiest way is flash, as I was saying, but sometimes you can have good days and bad days on flash. The dry volleys and half volleys on the 110 degree western shot. Thank you.